Hey Sumners, and welcome to another episode of Underrated Picks, where we cover the most undervalued but powerful champions for the patch. They're all about high performance with low ban rates that are unlikely to get nerfed in the immediate future. The most reliable picks in the game that are the most worthy of investing time in. Before we get started though, our question of the day is, which champion do you think is the strongest in the lore? Let us know in the comments below or hop into our Discord and discuss it with the rest of your peers. We have tons of conversations happening there daily. Now, without further delay, let's get into it. I'm sorry, but the first pick for 10.10's underrated top laners is Soraka. That's right, we're, uh, we're, we're running it back because 2020 didn't have enough bad things going on. Soraka got some buffs, and now she's back in the top lane menacing anyone and everyone. Her Q's large AoE slow also heals her when it makes contact, so trading with her is incredibly difficult. Soraka's W is her heal, and while it doesn't do much for her in lane, it comes in clutch when she finally ends up grouping. Soraka's E is another large AoE, but it silences any enemies standing on it, and if they're still on it after a few seconds, they get rooted. This is another step in what makes her so hard to fight against, since she can often just place the silence under herself to root any enemies that try to jump on her. Soraka's ult is a global heal, which allows her to have more agency than most top laners have without her having to even leave the lane. Being able to save your teammates from across the map never really goes out of style. It's just unfortunate that it has to come with the rest of the obnoxious abilities Soraka brings top. Quick side note regarding the build though, if you end up with a lead, feel free to build the Medjai's and really start rubbing in the pain. Quinn is our second underrated top laner on patch 10.10, and once again, I apologize. Marksman top laners are generally viewed as cheesy, unfair picks due to their ability to harass melee champions with little to no counterplay. Quinn, however, takes this to the extreme. Her passive has her eagle, Valor, mark enemies. Marked enemies take extra damage from Quinn's next auto attack, so her harass is even more annoying than other marksmen. The answer to the ranged tops is usually to get on top of them and just rub their face in the dirt, but doing that against Quinn is just about impossible, since her Q blinds its target and applies her passive. After she's done out trading you and you think you're gonna get to fight back, she just uses her E to vault off you to her maximum attack range, mark you again, and then blast you with another auto passive. You can't even surprise her because her W grants her vision of everything in the area, bushes or not. Once she's had her fill of ruining your fun top lane, her ult's move speed lets her roam the map freely and decimate other lanes with her gold and experience lead. Here are those top lane builds for you one more time. Our first underrated jungle pick for 10.10 is Vi. Vi is a jungle fighter who likes to throw hands as often as possible. Her clear is relatively fast and healthy with her passive shield, and her ganks with her Q's dashing punch are something to be feared. Vi's W lets her shred enemy armor and leave them more vulnerable to attacks, making her a more potent brawler against healthier opponents. Her E is an empowered auto attack cancel that makes her next strike deal bonus damage as well as dealing damage in a large zone behind her target, which lets her deal team-wide damage in teamfights or allows her to clear camps with greater speed. Finally, Vi's ultimate ability is her most recognizable as its point-and-click lockdown is a guaranteed engage onto whatever target you choose. While Vi is running down the target to uppercut them and smash them down, she's unstoppable, so she's a great pick for grabbing a high-priority enemy and deleting them. Our second jungle pick for 10.10's underrated junglers is Amumu. Amumu is one of League's best teamfighting champions, and he's also one of the tankiest. Amumu has a pretty straightforward clear, with his W's Crying Toggle and his E's Tantrum, both of which deal consistent damage to all enemies in his immediate area. When combined with Hunter's Talisman, Amumu can sustain himself easily in the jungle. When it comes to ganking, Amumu's Q is a long-ranged bandage toss that pulls himself to whatever he hits. Once he's in range, he's free to pop his ult to stun all enemies in a large circle around him and get his tears going. On top of the damage it does on its own, Amumu's ult also applies his passive to all targets that it hits, which makes them receive a percentage of magic damage as true damage instead. This makes Amumu an especially potent choice in comps with big AoE AP damage like a Kennen or Rumble ult. The jungle build should be back up on your screen right now in case you missed anything. Morgana is our first underrated mid laner for patch 10.10, and unfortunately, her greatest weakness is the ban rate she has for her supporting. If she gets through though, she's an excellent CC mage, and she does even better against targets that rely on CC to win. Morgana's E spell shield prevents any CC effects from getting through as long as it stands. This ability is the primary reason Morgana's support is such a prized pick, but it's an equally valuable utility on Morgana mid. Her Q is a long-ranged root that lasts for a few eternal seconds, which gives her plenty of time to follow up on it 
it and finish the kill. If Morgana finds herself in a bad matchup, she can just put points in her W's pool and just clear waves from a safe distance. Morgana's ult is a great team fighting ability and allows her to lock down multiple targets in proximity to her after a delay. If they're stunned on top of her W's DOT, all the better. Our second mid lane pick for 10.10's underrated champions is Annie. Annie recently received some buffs, and it seems she's doing better than ever. Annie is a burst mage with a good amount of lockdown, and her kit makes her exceptionally beginner friendly. Annie's passive lets her charge up a stun after every four abilities. When she damages an enemy with her next ability after those four, they're stunned. Annie's Q is a point and click fireball that does a good amount of damage and even refunds its mana cost if it last hits its target, giving Annie an easy method of CSing as well. Annie's W is a cone of flame, and with its AoE, it's the best choice for proccing Annie's stun if her ult is unavailable. Deleting a target is easy for Annie, but getting in range to delete them isn't as easy. Her E's Molten Shield move speed boost, however, alleviates that need, as well as providing her with a free thorn mail to help her survive trades. In an ideal world, Annie gets to set up the perfect ambush and drop her ultimate Tibbers right on top of all five enemies with her stun passive to lock them down with Tibbers burst damage, then follow up with her Q and W to finish off any survivors. This isn't always realistic, but even if she only gets a hold of one or two high value targets, as long as they're deleted, that's all it takes to win a fight. The mid lane builds are back up again, so check those out. Patch 10.10's first underrated bot laner is Ziggs. Ziggs is a bursty artillery mage who shines through with his poke and objective control. His passive gives him an empowered auto attack every so often, with a cooldown that lowers every time he casts a spell. Going for trades while this passive is up is essential to Ziggs' success in lane, as is his ability to outrange most marksman champions with his Q's long-range bombs. Ziggs' satchel charge on his W is an excellent tool for creating space between himself and his enemies, or even using it to bounce an enemy away from their team for a pick. It even has the added bonus of executing turrets once they're low enough. If enemies are looking to approach Ziggs, or if Ziggs just needs to seal off an area, he can throw out his E's minefield to slow and damage any opponents that try to pass through. Ziggs' ult is an enormous semi-global bomb that can obliterate fights from a distance, but in a pinch, he can use it to thin out sideways with minions to ensure a more favorable push to set up objectives for his team. Maokai is our second underrated bot laner for 10.10, however, there's a large asterisk on this. Maokai bot is only intended for use with Senna support. He's not a general all-purpose bot lane carry. Maokai is just a crazy tanky champion that's jammed with utility, and his sustained passive makes him hard to keep out of lane. His Q is both a knockback and a slow, which is great for protecting Senna in lane. His W is a point-and-click root that also makes Maokai untargetable when he's on his way to them. For a bit of added lane safety, Maokai can throw out his saplings as wards to keep an eye on bushes. Maokai's ult is a phenomenal tool for both engaging and disengaging teamfights, and with everything else he offers, his bot lane with Senna is more than worth it for how niche it is. The bot lane builds are on display one more time for you. Alistair is our first underrated support for patch 10.10, and as a tanky peel support, he's in a great spot right now. Alistair is a well-rounded frontliner who can use his CC to either engage or peel as he sees fit. His Q is a knockup that hits all enemies in his area. Usually this is used in conjunction with his W as a gap closer to bring him in range, but he can also just choose to use his W's point-and-click headbutt on its own to put distance between his enemies and his carries. Alistair's E is a point-and-click stun that charges up after he stomps around his enemies for a few seconds. Alistair's ult cleanses him of CC and makes him extra tanky, enabling him to pull off oppressive tower dives as soon as he hits 6. Our second support pick for 10.10 .10 is Sona, an enchanter that hasn't made their return to top lane. Not yet, anyway, give Riot time. I'm sure we'll have to deal with it again. Anyway, Sona is a well-rounded support with a little bit of everything. Her Q brings a decent poke to her laning phase, as well as buffing her ally's damage. Her W is a healing and shielding AoE ability, and her E speeds up all the allies in her area to help with rotations. Sona's ult is her signature ability, and sends out a crescendo of music to force an enemy champion to dance for a bit while her team deals free damage. And finally, the support builds are back up for one more look. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. We hope you enjoyed this video along with the rest of our patch 10.10 .10 series. Once again, let us know in the comments which champion you think is the most powerful in the lore so we can hit you with the hot, fresh heart react. We really do love hearing from you guys. See you all next time. Good luck out there in the rift and wash those hands.